Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys, as always. And today I'm going to do a, uh, a pretty special video for you guys. It's not going to be um, part of any series or anything like that. I just wanted to show you all the new strategy that I'm working with. Um, ever since the boost of the Hog Riders in the last update, they've really, really uh, started doing work. Um, and I've been using them a little bit more. Um, and so what I'm doing is a hog rider uh, dragon strategy basically with a couple wizards thrown in there. So I use the hog riders to go in, take out the air defenses, um, and clear out some of the other defenses so that the dragons can do uh, work around the base. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this guys. I'm going to see if I can find us an awesome base to raid and then I will be back with you guys in a second. Alright, so hold tight. See you in a sec. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to attack this base because from first glance you can see that this expo right here is empty. Um, so that's going to save me a lot of pain. And the expos are not pointed towards um, the sky, so that's definitely going to help me out. Also, his air defenses are pretty weak. Um, the strongest ones are in opposing corners, so I'm going to go ahead and attack from right down here at the bottom and start things off. Um, right with these hog riders getting in there and doing some work. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drop them down. No, I wanted them. There they go. Alright, so now they're going in there for the air defense. Um, we're going to drop down a little healing spell just to help them out. Um, we're also going to drop down a couple of our wizards to help take out some of these um, buildings as well as... Alright, so that archer queen is down. Um, and then once we have... We're going to drop uh, some more hog riders over here in the corner. And then, let's see, so these hog riders are doing work over here. Why don't we go ahead and drop a rage spell, see if we can't help them out um, before they die. So two of the air defenses are down, um, and most of these buildings are down as well. So let's see if we can't get our um, dragons just working their way um, up in the middle. We'll drop down two right there. Let's bring two in over here. Let's just drop them all right over here in the corner. Um, and so we're already at 35%. We have a wizard over here doing work on the town hall. Um, and he's going to start working his way in. <clears throat> These dragons are going to start working their way in as well. Um, his barbarian king is now down. And as you can see, uh, I, I decided to attack from the side I did because his expo on this side was facing down, as I mentioned earlier. So that's definitely going to help me out when it comes to um, my attack because I hate expos when they're pointed up to the sky. They do a lot of damage. Um, this air defense up here is going to start firing at my dragons. I'm going to go ahead and drop a rage spell right about there to get them on the corner so they can start working their way in um, and do as much damage as possible before the air defenses take them out. So there they go. They're all almost affected by it. They're doing work. Um, it looks like this one up here at the top might be able to take out that air defense before it's shot down. It's getting double teamed by that archer tower, but it was able to take it out. So there we go, guys. We're at 80%. We still have a minute left. And it looks like our dragons are going to keep working around. <laughs> we do have this lonely little wizard who is, um, I don't know, hanging out by himself, I guess. But he should be able to work his way around and hopefully help out towards the end. I wish that he was on the outside taking out those pumps so that my dragons could focus on this archer tower that's attacking them. But I think they'll be fine since there's two of them. Um, and <clears throat> there's that wizard. He's probably going to get attacked by this cannon in just a second once he makes it through the wall. Um, but I believe that that's all the resources right about now. Yep, there we go. So we're at 92%, guys, looking real good. Um, I am definitely happy with this raid. Um, he did have four air defenses. Uh, two of them were were an okay level for his base. Um, the other two were pretty low, but none of them were under construction or anything like that. So that shows you that... Uh, this strategy really does work well. Um, I've been using it a lot lately. We might be able to get three stars if my dragon can uh, pick it up a bit. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah, I think we'll get it. Come on, get up there. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoot it! <laughs> Alright, guys, so that's 99% with a really, really good loot count on that. 264,000 gold, 271,000 elixir, and 1,000 dark elixir, which is definitely going to help me continue using my hog riders. Um, so guys, try this strategy out for yourself. It's really, really fun. I like it a lot. Since the hog riders get in there, jump over walls, and take out air defenses, if you pick the right base, then you'll definitely be able to, to do work on it. Um, so yeah, try that out, guys. As you can see, I have another... Um, 
thing of blah, another camp of that strategy uh, filling up right now. So um, that's going to be good. And yeah, as always, guys, y'all are awesome. Thank you so much to all my new subs. It's been great growing with you guys. Let's keep pushing to the top. I mean that. Um, you guys are so much cooler than me. And as always, guys, keep calm and clash on, all right? I'll see you later.